One day I came across this powerful script on GitHub, the Windows maintenance tool, and it blew me away. It runs repair tools like SFC, fixes Windows update issues, cleans up junk files, and even generates detailed system reports. It's simple, fast, and honestly, every Windows user should know about it. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and lets me bring you more cool tools like this one. And now let me show you exactly how it works and how you can use it on your PC. Now this tool is available on this GitHub page and I will also put its link in the video description down below. This tool gets updated quite regularly. So as of recording this video, the version is 2.9.4 and it was updated 17 hours ago. So developer is working actually quite hard on this tool and it's updating it regularly with new features. Down below, you can see the simple screenshot. This is from CMD. And down below, you can also see all of the features, installation options, output files, troubleshooting. And down below, we can also see that this project also has a Mac version. So if you guys are running on Mac, you can simply use this simple service script as well. But for now, I will just show you how to install it on Windows. It's very easy to do so. Just go here to the releases page and down below you will find this assets button. Just click on it here and now here you will find this file which ends with .bat. Just click on it and save it on your computer. And now once you have it, you can go here to the file explorer. And inside here, you can see here that I have already two of the files. Double left click on it to open it. Now you should also get a message here, Windows protected your PC. I will click on more information and then just click here run anyway. Click on run here and now just wait for the admin prompt and click yes here. So this is how this script looks like. It's very simple and bare bones and it offers a ton of the features. First of all, here you can see different dividers for Windows updates features, system health checks, network tools, cleanup and optimization. Then we have the support here, utilities and extras at the bottom and exit. Now here down below, you also have enter your choice option. And here you will type whatever you want to fix on your computer. Let's say that this is update Windows or Winget upgrade. What this will do if I type in here one, this will upgrade your programs on your computer. You can see here that it listed all of the programs which are outdated. And right now it will start to update them. Let's say we want to check for system health. We can type in here three for enter your choice. Now you can see here that we have deployment image service and management tool, no component store corruption detected, the operation completed successfully. So this means that our system it's running very, very well. And here we can also check for corrupt files. So we can type in here two, click on enter. And right now you can see that it's beginning the system scan. And right now we can just wait for a few minutes to finish this verification phrase. And now here we can see the full report of the SFC. And you can see here that this tool actually found some of the corrupt files and it successfully repaired them. Let's say you have some of the issues with your network. You can also restart here network adapters. Here you will just click on seven and click on enter. And right now it will restart the network adapter and the internet should work for you right now. And we can also fix the network. We can click on eight here and click on enter. And right now it's renewing my IP address, refreshing DNS settings and also resetting network components. And now you will have to just restart your computer to take full effect. Now here you can also perform a system optimization script. So for in this case 11, so if you click on 11, Right now, it will delete temporary files and system cache. You can type in Y here and you can see here how many of the files it actually deleted. Click on enter here and let's also try this advanced registry cleanup optimization. Let's click on 12 and let's see what will happen here. And you can see here how many of the issues it found in the registry and save to delete. And now we can click here on A to delete only safe entries. So let's see, and we can click on continue. Now we already did a cleanup optimization, network tools, and also Windows update as well as system health checks. So here we have also utilities and extras. For example, we can type in here 22 to generate full system report. And right now it's loading processor information and every information from this computer. And you can see here that it's actually saving them into the text files. And here you can see that everything was saved to my computer. 
Now let's go here to my desktop folder and here they are. Now we can open here the driver list and here we are. We have a ton of the drivers on our computer. We can also see here the driver type and uh, yeah, I think that everything works really, really nicely. Some of them also have the date beside them. So yeah, I think that this tool is working really, really nicely on any Windows computer, even if you have Windows 10, for example. So I think you should definitely give it a try and please, if you gave it a try, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I will also leave this link for this tool in the video description below. With that said, make sure to smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel grow. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.